Hi guys, it's Beatty. Today we are reacting to Sabrina Carpenter's Vogue video. Sabrina Carpenter's guide to refreshing skincare and perfectly precise eyeliner. Perfect. We all need eyeliner tips. Let's get into it. What's up Vogue? It's Sabrina Carpenter and I'm going to take you guys through my skincare routine and my nighttime stage look makeup. Drinking ice cold water with lemon every morning has been a very, very big staple in my life to make me feel like I'm awake, I'm alert. To wake up my skin and kind of get the, the blood pumping and flowing, I like to do a little ice cube facial. So I basically will just take a few ice cubes, wrap them in a little paper towel, and then I kind of just lightly glaze it over my skin. I had a mini heart attack for a second. I thought she's gonna put ice straight on her face. Ice through a tissue is fine, it can depuff. You get the same basically with splashing yourself with cold water when you're washing your face in the morning. So please do not put ice straight on your face. You can even get skin frost if your skin is very sensitive. I'm a very, very big fan of sheet masks. These are really great. This is a super hydrating mask. I've been on a lot of planes, so I definitely started to do sheet masks on long flights, whether that, like international flights, I would always do a sheet mask. And I think the funniest thing is stepping out of that airplane bathroom and just kind of strutting down the runway of people that are like really terrified of why you look the way that you do. But it's fine. Um, Cause at the end of the day, like my skin's gonna look good and that's all that matters. Um, but I usually keep them on for like five to 10 minutes. Good tip because the airplane air is very dry. So if your skin is dehydrated and especially when we're traveling, we tend to not drink that much water. Great tip to put a face mask on. You can just put it in your seat though. You don't have to go to the bathroom. Use your phone camera if you need a mirror, you know? Nobody has to be scared of you. Five to 10 minutes is also a good time. I know a lot of people are tempted to keep sheet masks on for a long time, but they're only really meant to be on for five to 10 minutes. It's great also to keep them in the fridge. That's going to take care of both of the steps that she did at once because the mask will be cold enough to give the ice facial effect without putting ice on your face. Then I just massage it into my skin. It's very dewy. I'm gonna wanna wash it off because there's a lot on right now. So I basically go to my cleanser, which is this AHA BHA blemish control cleanser because she's a young woman with hormones that are raging. And so I'm going to go wet my face. I'm going to apply, whoop. And now I'm gonna wash it off. She washed off all the serum she put on. Use a cleanser first. Sheet mask is a delivery system for a serum. By washing it off, you're just washing off all of the serum you just put on your face and it basically renders it useless. Yeah, do the cleanser first, then the sheet mask. Massage the serum in if there's too much. Put it on your cleavage, put it on your hands, back of your neck, feet, whatever you want. Just don't, like, it is just... The, the mask step was just pointless right now. Step two in SC skincare routine is her toner. Then I like to apply my vitamin C treatment, which is basically like a little morning moisturizer. And most of the time I will mix this with my sunscreen. So I make sure to put that on every day because I'm iridescent, the sun and I have an interesting relationship. We have to make sure we protect our skin. I use this eye cream, which is super nice, the Algenous eye cream. I guess it's an eye renewal balm. The last thing I like to do before I start my makeup routine is I like to take my Glossier Birthday Balm.com. I am very disappointed right now. I'm not a skincare expert, I'm an enthusiast. However, by being a makeup artist, you do learn a lot about skincare. Usually you want to apply whatever active ingredient you want after you wash your face, after the toner, that was fine. And then after you apply moisturizer and after that you apply sunscreen and you apply liberal amount of sunscreen. You should never mix it with anything because you're basically cutting the strength in half. You're diluting the, uh, the ice cream. You're diluting the sunscreen and it's just 
not working so well to protect your skin. Sunscreen is the most important step in your skincare routine. It should be always the last step of your skincare routine. Eye cream, you know, my opinion is just a waste of money. She's got money, so she can waste it. But please, please. Wear sunscreen properly. Another thing that I also love to use, just in general, I'm a big fan of essential oils. I've always kind of been taking them with me on the road. Uh, this one is peppermint. So it just, it's super strong, but I put it on the back of my neck. Sometimes I will put it right here. Uh, sometimes I put it on my temples, but I'm not gonna do that today. And then I'll put it on my wrist. I don't know about raw peppermint on the face. I mean, you do you, Sabrina. This is maybe my favorite thing that I've found ever, possibly. See, the thing is, is like I found it and then TikTok found it and then the rest of the world found it. So maybe it's not a secret anymore. But one day I was, I was, I was just strolling through Sephora and I saw this Brazilian bum bum cream and I was like, that's funny, but it smells like heaven. So now I kind of just use it as my I don't know, it's like a perfume, it's a moisturizer, it's a multitude of things. You're supposed to put it on your butt, but um, I like to apply it on my neck because it feels like a natural perfume and it always just smells really divine. I like how she's using processed cream that's meant for cellulite on the neck as natural perfume. None of that makes any sense, but if it doesn't harm her, it's fine. That cream's been around for years. It was not found by TikTok. Yeah, let's just move on. When does the makeup start? Last little thing before I start my makeup is this Rose Quartz Facial Sculptor. Uh, I really love how it looks. It's literally just a little heart in this Rose Quartz. And I love Rose Quartz and I have Rose Quartz next to my bed. But because my face is already moisturized and has different products on it, this kind of glides on pretty easily. She's pressing really hard on it. You can see her skin turning really, really red. There's a gua sha. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's supposed to glide over your face. It's not, you're not supposed to push when you're doing a gua sha. You're just supposed to lay it on the face and just gently glide. That tool is made for draining the lymphatic system in your face. So you have points where lymph can be drained and you're supposed to move the lymph from your face, from around the face to reduce puffiness and then move it down the lymphatic system. Just pushing it like this a couple of times, it's not gonna do anything. After this movement, you should really get down with the gua sha, but not pressing this hard. That's really hard, the way she pressed. First, I like to apply my Pat McGrath concealer, blend it in, it's a little quirky, I like to mix two different products. I like to mix this like Tom Ford foundation stick with this Clay de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation. There's also sunscreen in this, which is great, so just in case I forget. These are just crayons, these are just big girl crayons, that's, that's how I see it. So I like to blend in with this. Then I blend it up into my forehead, my five head. Going to blend it also up into my eyes a little bit, just to create a natural uh, eye primer, if you will, because I don't have eye primer, so we're cheating. All right. I think the skin is pretty, pretty solid looking today. I'm telling you, it's the ice water with lemon. Does it all. What do they tell you about clear skin? Just drink some water. I don't know if that's true, so don't quote me on that. It is true, actually. If you drink enough water, your skin health will improve. I think it's really funny how she's using the word natural. She's saying natural primer, but it's, it's foundation. I also love how she mentions that the foundation has sunscreen in case she forgets, but really it's just doing her a favor. And no primer, no face primer for stage makeup, Sabrina. And for every day, I don't mind if you're not doing primer, like Tyler, she didn't do primer, but she said it's her everyday kind of must be somewhere and wanna look presentable makeup. But if this is stage makeup that we're doing, then we need a primer. Next, I like to get into the bronze of it all. I use this little fluffy brush and I just go in right at my cheekbones. It'll be my favorite thing of the summer, I think, has become blush. This is a dark cream blush that I like to put here. 
little bit on the tip of the nose so I look like I just went to the beach even though I never do. The next thing I love to do is create a little bit of a, of a glow. I love to use this Kojendo uh, Aqua Foundation Illuminator and I just put it on the high points. But as you can see, it looks like I really just dunked my face in glaze. Just like Ariana, I would like her to put her bronzer a little bit higher. If this is meant to be a bronzer, it's supposed to be put on your cheeks because that's where sun would naturally hit first. And like you see, she put it on her forehead, which is where it should go. But then on the cheeks, she put it as a contour, but really exaggerated. The contour should stop right around here. It should be a flick of the brush. So like this and wherever the brush stops, this is where it's supposed to stop. That's just because when you're looking straight ahead, it won't look like your skeleton. <laughs> she kind of created like a fake cheek almost with the bronzer, which is a, definitely an interesting technique. I love, love, love the blush she applied though, the way she applied it and where she applied it. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it looks very natural and how she just went to the beach, she said it. Also the highlighter, I I really love that highlighter. It looks very beautiful on her face. She's saying she put it on the high points, but she really put it all over her cheek. But that kind of became iconic now, her luminous blush. I use the soap brows. So I basically take this little prep mist, spritz it into the soap box tin, and then I just get it all over the, the brush, the little spoolie. As you can see, it just kind of like acts as soap does. I'm breaking. This is what we call it. Yeah, I haven't done this too many times yet because I'm afraid of messing up. But the thing is, is like, you can't really mess up because my brows at the end of the day are always going to look super thick. Yeah, she has good brows. If uh, you're actually trying to set your brows with this, you first need to go against the hair growth and then brush it out. You want to put it everywhere in your brow. If she's just brushing like this, all the thick hairs, all the weight of the hair will weigh it down and this basically is pointless. I go in with eyeshadow. I'm gonna start with just this natural color. Okay, so for this look, I'm gonna take a little bit of a darker color and kind of blend it on the outside. So I'm gonna take this dark color and blend it. I learned, uh, after a while of other people doing my liner that I really only like starting from the middle and moving outwards because for my eye shape it creates just more of a cat eye definition which I really personally like. So I do the same thing with my eyeshadow. So I like to bring this down into the bottom. Just make it out a little. Okay, so that's that's pretty subtle. We're getting there still. Okay kids, it's time for the eyeliner. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. So I'm gonna start very slow in the corner. And then I also like to bring it into the corner of my eye when we're doing a little bit of a darker graphic look. So there's that side. I like to follow with the shape of my eye, which goes a little bit downwards, so. So this is kind of the shape that we get from the liner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we go in with our mascara. I like to add a little bit more to the eyes later, but I'm gonna start by doing mascara now. Again, with mascara, I also like to sort of really define the ends of my lashes. Take a pencil, put it in the waterline up top, because we learned our lesson from when we were young. I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of like a light luminous in color here. Wow, I really look like I'm going to the club and the club hasn't been open in quite a few months. Okay, now we're going to focus on lashes and I love these little individuals. No complaints regarding the eyeshadow though. I love how she did the eyeshadow look. She kind of made a stencil for herself for the eyeliner, which is brilliant. We all should do that. She did say it's like she's going to a club, but this is a soft daytime look for me. I love, love, love how she did the eyeliner also. However, she didn't give us any tips. <laughs> I mean, nothing that we didn't already know, you know? Cut eyeliner from halfway point and extend the inner corner. That's 
like common knowledge. I don't know what the actual secret here is supposed to be. One little trick that one of my makeup artists taught me is to sort of just like prep the shape of the lips and make them look a little bit fuller, a little bit pout here, is you kind of take a little bit of bronzer and a little tiny thin brush and you just sort of like overline the edge of your lip, kind of brush it out, makes it look a little bit fuller without even like applying anything yet. Do the same thing on the bottom. I love, I love the neutral kind of peachy lip tones. I also like this color of lip liner, so most of the time it's like finding a lip that will just complement the liner and I can just kind of dab it all in together. Oh, okay, one of the last steps for my makeup routine is my very obvious favorite um, Dior Glow Backstage Face Palette. I use this all the time. I kind of use all the colors. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I do it. I just put it all over. And now that the eyelashes are dry, I just have to make sure there's no excess glue. Oop, it's a smoky eye. Um, and then I use By the Fireplace by Margiela. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I don't know what the bronzer or on the lips supposed to do, to be honest, it made no difference. It just kind of made her look like she already smudged her lipstick but maybe that's what she's going for she she looks like she likes a very neutral natural look to the lips not a very overdrawn not a very sharp lip line so then it's fine i mean you know she just dabbed on the lipstick also it's giving very natural i love the dior palette as well we all have that one palette that's just this tried but we keep it just because we love the product so much love that she's actually showing that love where she put it also i really like that she goes back to her eyelashes and fixes the glue she just put a little more eyeliner where the glue was visible that's beautiful it is not a smoky eye though she said "Ooh, smoky eye it's not a smoky eye what she has on i feel like lately everything is a smoky eye smoky eye is a specific technique of applying eyeshadow i do i actually have a short on the classic smoky eyes you can go and check it out if you would like to see what classic smoky eyes supposed to be you can do it with any color combination this is the beauty of it however the placement of the color matters because it's supposed to look like your eye is smoking. That's the whole point of a smoky eye. Another one who applies perfume on her chest. Again, I don't know if this perfume has alcohol in it, so please. But if your perfume has alcohol in it, please apply it on clothes, not on the skin, because it can be very dry and create wrinkles faster. We don't want that. Yes, other than that, she looks good. I don't think you can really make yourself look worse if you already look good you know what i mean i hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel for more makeup videos till next time bye